Alright man, in today's video, we're going to be diving into some hidden gems in my wrestling action figure collection. Now, if you're wondering what the hell a hidden gem is, in the terms of this video, it's basically a figure that was fixed up in some way. Maybe by switching a head sculpt, maybe by switching some parts around, and completely transforming a figure from its original form into a really cool fix-up that changes the figure drastically, that makes for a really awesome figure. And we're starting this video off with this Entrance Greats Elite Finn Balor figure. Man, when this figure first released, I was really excited for it. I like this version of Finn Balor. This this is from his matchup with AJ Styles. I think it was from Payback or something like that. Or maybe it was TLC when one of the matches got canceled or something. And Finn Balor and AJ Styles was kind of a thrown together matchup for the event. And we had the Demon Finn Balor. But all this is is some Daniel Bryan kick pads added to the figure's original figure. And I re removed the designs. And so he's got the black shoes with the red kick pads. And it just, I don't know, it really ties in nicely. When you have that red and black contrast with the Demon paint with the red kick pads. It's very clean. Very clean aesthetic on this entrance. Great elite Finn Balor. I love collecting Finn Balor figures. If you guys are unaware of that, yeah. yeah. Love Finn Balor, love this figure. Really wish they'd go back to this body mold and this formula because now they give him the damn small legs. Pisses me off beyond no measure. But let's go ahead and move on to our next figure, man. We are getting into the Elite 71, Jeff Hardy. I think it's Elite 71. Elite 70 or Elite 71. And this is the pink attire Jeff Hardy, which is a beautiful figure. I, I love this figure so much that I have like five of them, no, no lie. But we took the Survivor Series head sculpt from the Survivor Series Elite Jeff Hardy and adding it to this figure just allows for a nice pop, man. When you can see like the pink, there's some pink highlights here in the hair and it just ties in so nicely to the rest of the figure. It's just so clean, man. It's looking so mean, looking so clean. It's so clean and I remember finding these figures in the wild. It's a great figure, man. I'm really hoping we see the AEW Unmatched 9 version of Jeff Hardy really soon and hopefully they can get some more figures of him out. If I were them, I would absent while you have the time. They need to make a Supreme Collection Jeff Hardy while they have the opportunity, man. We'll have to see about that, see who comes in Series 6 after Sting and Series 5, but this figure is beautiful as hell. I love this. The pink belt, the pink sleeves, the lightning bolt designs with this head sculpt is absolute money. Yeah, it's time. Our next figure is actually going to be tied into the Jeff Hardy, but they're not really, I mean, they're related, but they're not. We have this Matt Hardy fix-up, man. This one's very clean. Yeah. And again, man, the beauty of fixing up figures when you take a regular Elite and then you take apart from this figure, apart from that figure, apart from that figure, you take, you know, this head, that arm, this, maybe a battle pack head sculpt, maybe a basic figure. You put it together with an, with an Elite and you make a brand new figure right here. I do believe this is the ringside exclusive Hardy Boys 2-pack Matt Hardy as you guys can tell by the arm sleeves right here and so he's got these like forearm shivers in black and he's got the black elbow pads but then I took the Elite what the hell was it man? Is it the Elite 6 maybe? Or maybe I found this head sculpt on a different figure. Maybe it's escaping me but I know it wasn't the SummerSlam Elite I don't think. It wasn't the, you know, it wasn't one of those but no actually I think I got this head sculpt. I think it originally came on the Elite 2 Matt Hardy but I found this head sculpt on an old website and I bought like five of them because I knew how hard it was to get that Elite 2 Matt Hardy head and it's got the you know the ponytail in there and it just kind of looks like a Team Extreme version of Matt Hardy and then I took the Hardy Boy jersey that came on the Jeff Hardy out of the Smackdown Elite 2 pack with Triple H and Jeff Hardy you throw it all together man you have a really sweet Team Extreme Matt Hardy from around 2001 or so so that that makes for a great Matt Hardy fix up right there next up man we have an Ultimate Edition figure that we made not too long ago man it is the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels from around 2003 2004. Kind of a 2004 era Shawn Michaels right here. It is based on the Ultimate Edition fan takeover Shawn Michaels which was Amazon exclusive and we put the Elite 100 head sculpt on there or maybe it was the SummerSlam Elite. It's the same head sculpt. It's just painted a little bit differently here and there but we did that. We put on some SummerSlam Elite arms because he had white wrist tape at that time. Then we put some basic 100 Shawn Michaels knee pads in there and then put some I think WrestleMania Elite or Greatest Hit Elite lower legs on here to give him the black kick pads or the black boots. He didn't wear kick pads at that time. I don't know why. Mattel really needs to get a handle on that. He wore like the biker strap boots that, you know, similar guys like Dolph Ziggler and stuff wore around this time period, but they always give him the kick pads for some reason, but it doesn't look half bad. I guess it, it passes, I guess. You know, it's not gonna see. I, I don't know. It, it's just not high priority to really complain about, I guess, but this Shawn Michaels is beautiful. A beautiful Ultimate Edition. I think that it, really making an Ultimate Edition fix up, and again, this is no paint, man. This is just figure swaps and, and fixing up a figure to make a brand new Ultimate Edition of an attire really that I would love to see from Mattel. I really want to see WrestleMania 20, but uh, this is close. This is pretty close. So we do have that Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition fix-up. And next up is a Top Picks Rey Mysterio fix-up. This is the pink attire. Now, this figure originally was fire. I love the, 
the double jointed arms and everything is amazing. But the pink gear, you guys know I love pink, so this really ties together really beautifully. But the thing about it that I switched, it originally came with black, like solid black gloves and solid black kick pads. And while that doesn't look bad, look at the stripes on the side of his attire. You know, look at these stripes that are going down here. So I put Elite 72 boots on there that have the same stripes, man. The black and white stripes right there. And then you contrast it with some white gloves to go with the black gauntlets that also ties into the stripes. And then you have some white in the mohawk and the mask and the, the bicep bands and stuff, man. It's just such a beautiful piece. This is a great fix up right here, man. This is the absolute just definition of a hidden gem in the collection. Just a figure that just looks phenomenally better. And it has no paint. There's no paint on this. It's just figure swaps. It's just part swaps, man. You mix it, you know, swippages and swappages. Action figure surgery and you can make some really cool figures. So that is our Rey Mysterio fix up right there in the pink, black, and white. Low key, that might be my favorite Rey Mysterio fix up we've ever done on the channel. It, that's how good that Rey Mysterio is to me. Another hidden gem today, man, is going to be the Ruthless Aggression Elite Shelton Benjamin fix up. This figure is ridiculous, man. Uh, I mean, in its original form, I think this got my number three elite of last year, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but this figure uh, is something I waited for. Uh, Fantasy Booked wanted it forever from Mattel. Used to talk about it all the time on my wish list, on my fantasy list. I want Ruthless Aggression Shelton Benjamin. Ruthless Aggression Shelton Benjamin. Single Shelton Benjamin. IC title. You know, all the good stuff. Breakaway on his own Shelton Benjamin. We finally got it, and this figure is just all, all the money, but I touched it up a bit because originally it had the large knee pads. Originally it had the regular, which aren't bad, okay? It had the silver, black, and blue kick pads, which were also good, but I took some Elite 43 Kofi Kingston kick pads and removed the New Day logos off the back, and this design on here is not accurate to the kick pads that Shelton Benjamin wore, but it still looks pretty damn good, man. You have that white in there. It's kind of based on his 2006 run, like late 05, early 06, I think it was, and it just looks so clean. Yeah. This right here is very nostalgic. It checks all the boxes. It checks all the boxes. The boxes. The boxes. The boxes. That Shelton Benjamin right there is money. That's a good one right there. That Shelton Benjamin. Look, I mean, look at it from afar, man. You can't, you can't fight me on it. Speaking of beautiful figures, man, another one that we recently did not too long ago. It is going to be the SummerSlam Elite. Number one figure of last year. Number one Elite, in my opinion. It is the Elite SummerSlam Dolph Ziggler figure, but we did take his most recent basic with the blonde hair. I do believe it's the Elite. 70 Ziggler head sculpt pretty much but the hair is recolored to a bright blonde like bleach blonde and then we took an orange Cassidy AEW Unrivaled 3 jacket and we cut the shirt out and cut the sleeves off to make this jean jacket. I do believe the first person that did this or the inspiration behind this was It's Cobb on Instagram and I do believe that's the, the account that did that man and he, it was very genius. I thought that was beautiful and so it inspired me to do my own here and uh, we put fixed this. It's beautiful. This is a hidden gem man. Great figure. Again no paint on this this and it, it just fixes up wonderfully. So anytime you can take two, three figures, man, all about the creativity in this one, all about the creativity, mixing parts together to make really unique figures. I mean, all of these back here look just like normal figures, but they're, they were not in their original forms. They are fixed up in some way. So that is always great. But moving on to our next figure it is going to be the Elite Apollo Crews. I think it's Elite 87, if I'm not mistaken, but this one's really clean because all we did was a knee pad swap. And I think these came on a, like a Neville Elite, maybe like Elite 42. Neville, and I could be wrong about that. It may not be Elite 42 Neville, but these silver open knee pads on this attire of Apollo is so clean because the exact color of these knee pads matches perfectly with the attire on the gear, or the Apollo on the gear right there, and it just matches perfectly. It's crazy. It's a perfect contrast. I think he originally came with solid black knee pads, and that's fine. It's a great figure, but just that subtle change can make for a really cool figure. So we have Apollo here with the uh, double jointed arms and everything going on, man. Those silver knee pads really do it justice. Justice. <laughs> And then a figure that I've talked about on the channel, I want to say I've plugged this in a bunch of videos, but it has to be talked about. I don't think I mentioned it in my other Hidden Gems videos that we've done so far, but I enjoyed this series, so you guys can let me know what you think down below. But this figure is the Elite 65 Aiden English, man. What makes this figure so damn good is what we were able to do. So originally, they gave him the Daniel Bryan torso. You guys know I hate the Daniel Bryan torso, but they, they didn't do him justice because Aiden English was actually a very jacked individual when he was the, with the VOD villains. And so what I did is I gave him a Seamus torso. And so this is basically a Seamus Elite. Seamus Elite 
feet on the uh, the shoulders, the torso, and the crotch. But luckily, Seamus is on ball joints. So I switched the legs with, I think, some X-Pac upper thighs. I removed the designs off the side to give him the plain black, tr uh, you know, designs on the tights. It's just plain black because Aiden English, you know, he had some pretty plain Jane gears. There wasn't anything over the top there. His face looks overexposed as hell. What is going on there? Might have some schmutz on there. I don't know. Looking like Seamus' entrance. But what we've done here is uh, we put some, I think, Heath Slater lower legs. Or maybe these are just full Heath Slater legs. I don't think they are, though. I think they're X-Pac upper legs and then Heath Slater lower legs with Seamus boots. And then I put some Aiden English Battle Pack arms or Elite 65 arms onto, I think it's Elite 65 Aiden English arms, onto the Seamus body. So now he has the ripped up torso, the accurate, everything's, dude, this is a, and then you add all the accessories, the, you add the scarf and the entrance jacket robe and the Happy Rusev Day shirt and just a perfect Aiden English, just a great figure, man, and a great head skull, man. They knocked those figures out of the park. Very underrated Elite from Mattel is the Aiden English Elite 65 figure. He also had a chase, man. Unreal. Real. And then finishing our video up, man, we have a couple Ultimate Editions, and it is going to be the Ringside Exclusive Ultimate Edition Uso figures, man. And what we've done here is very simple. It's nothing crazy. And I actually want to get a bonus set of these to do a different fix-up, but uh, I, I'll go through these real quick. We cut the shirt on Jimmy to give him an accurate shirt. We switched his arm. We switched both of them. Jimmy and Jay both have the Elite 106 Jimmy and J or the Jay Uso arms to give him the red sleeve with the white wrist tape to tie into the rest of the gear. And then, uh, it types into their red shoes. So I think originally Jimmy didn't have any sleeves, but Jay had a right white sleeve, but we switched it to got to, you know, give them red sleeves to match with the shoes and the gear and the white wrist. It just all ties together beautifully. So I thought those were great. One thing that I'd like to do with these guys is get a second set of these and then switch their, uh, instead of their right arm being red, I would like to switch it in black so they'd have a black sleeve and then I'd switch their shoes with Ultimate Edition Cena shoes and then they'd have all black gear. So it'd be like a new Usos all black attire and and uh, there'd be, it'd only be black and white. You wouldn't have any red in there. And I think that would be really clean. So definitely something I want to do this year on a action figure surgery. Maybe we'll do that on action figure surgery episode 100. I know we're on episode 94 or something like that right now. But hopefully we can uh, get more knocked out. I'm waiting on different parts to arrive and different fix ups. So we're slowly approaching the episode 100 mark on action figure surgery. But I think that is going to wrap up our Hidden Gems video, man. Had a ton of fun making these figures on surgery and do doing different things. I'm pretty sure each one of these figures was made on surgery. So if you have an, you know, uh, a conquest on how exactly to do these fix-ups, I'm pretty sure there is probably a 20 plus minute video on the channel detailing all of these in some capacity. Just go through the action figure surgery playlist. You can look at the thumbnails trying to see if you can find some of the pieces to these figures that I've described and you can make that happen, man. But before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. I actually had a new sign up yesterday, man. Huge shout out to my man, Brendan Owens, for signing up and becoming an MDT Extreme Division member. Huge shout out to you guys, man. We actually voted on our next ranking video that is going to be uh, coming this week at some point. We had, you know, some different people voting on it. Had a bunch of different options, but it seems that the winner has been crowned for our next MDT WWE action figure ranking video that will be coming this week at some point, but we're going to be adding some AEW figures in there, so maybe that's a teaser on who it's going to be. But a huge shout out to our patrons, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts on all the figures down below. I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>